The price elasticity of demand, although the most important elasticity in microeconomics, is not the only elasticity. We can also define the income elasticity of demand. To do this, we start with a given demand function. In this case, we are interested in how demand reacts to changes in income. So we make this explicit in the demand function and add income as a dependent variable. We will keep the price fixed, so you can remove P from the expression and write Q simply as a function of M, if you like. The income elasticity of demand is defined very similar to the price elasticity of demand. All we have to do is to replace price by income in the formula. The income elasticity of demand is defined as the derivative of the demand function with respect to income. We multiply this by the ratio m over q to make it unitless. The income elasticity of demand will depend on income as well as any other variable that affects demand. The interpretation is that the income elasticity of demand measures approximately the percentage increase in demand when income increases by 1%. The argument for this interpretation is very similar to the argument we use to say that the price elasticity of demand measures the approximate increase in demand when price increases by 1%. The income elasticity of demand is approximately equal to delta Q over Q divided by delta M over M, which, after multiplying by 100 on both sides, is the percentage increase in demand divided by the percentage increase in income. Let's do a simple example. We know that with two goods and a Cobb-Douglas utility function u equal to x1, x2, the demand for good 1, which we denote by q, is given by m over 2p, where p denotes the price of good 1. The derivative, dq dm, is 1 over 2p. Multiply this by m and divide by q, which is m over 2p. The m's will cancel, the p's will cancel, and the 2's will cancel. The income elasticity of demand in this example is precisely 1. A 1% 1 increase in income will increase our demand for good 1 by 1%. We have previously said that a good is normal if an increase in income leads to an increase in demand. This means that the derivative of demand with respect to income cannot be negative for a normal good. Unless demand is zero, M and Q are both positive, which means that the income elasticity of demand is positive if the good is normal. We have said that a good is inferior if demand is strictly decreasing in income. For an inferior good, the derivative dQ dm is strictly negative, and the income elasticity of demand is strictly negative as well. Finally, if the proportion of income spent on the good is strictly increasing in income, then we say that the good is a luxury good. If the income elasticity of demand is strictly greater than 1, then when income increases by 1%, Q increases by more than 1%, and the proportion spent on the good will increase. Therefore, the good is luxury if and only if the income elasticity is strictly greater than 1. So we just argued that epsilon i, the income elasticity of demand, is greater than 1 if we are dealing with the luxury good. The argument was that if m increases by 1%, then the demand for the good will increase by more than 1%. And that must mean that the proportion that we spend on the good has increased. I think that sounds reasonable, but just for fun, let's prove this absolutely formally using mathematics. So what I want to do is I want to show you that epsilon i is greater than or equal to 1 if and only if the proportion spent on good 1, which is p times q over m, is increasing in m which is the same thing as saying that when I do the derivative of pq over m, this must be strictly positive. Keep in mind that in this example, p is kept fixed. We are only changing m and considering how q depends on m. So if I want to do this derivative here, I can take p outside. That's just a constant now. Then I need to differentiate this ratio with respect to m remembering that q is indeed a function of m. To do that, I use the ratio rule for derivatives. 
that says that first you do the derivative of the numerator q prime m you do m as it is then you do a minus sign q of m as it is and the derivative of m with respect to m is just 1 divided by m squared so when is this derivative strictly positive that is when is the proportion spent on this good increasing in m this derivative is positive if the numerator is positive that is if q prime m times m is greater than q of m divide both sides by q of m then we have q prime m times m over q is greater than 1. Hopefully you recognize this expression as precisely the income elasticity of demand, epsilon i greater than 1. The income elasticity of demand is greater than 1 if and only if this derivative is strictly positive, that is if and only if the proportion spent on the good is increasing in m.